while since I made any videos of uh, anything, so I thought I'd better catch up. Um, I didn't get a chance to film my training today, but I did take the opportunity to grab half an hour with the dogs and give them a little scoop round. Now, what we practiced was um, part of a slalom. So I took out just four hoops with me today. I put, oh, that one seems to be busted again. Okay. Um, I put two hoops about three meters apart, side by side like that. And I practiced Moochie on his slalom. I have a slightly different word I'm training him to. Slakum. So there is sla and that is kum. So that he knows he has to make a half turn. And that didn't do too badly. I was standing first of all between the two. Then I moved over and I stood with my back to this one and started Moochie there. And then finally I stood over here and again started Moochie at the furthest too. So did a little bit of that with the boys. And then I added, then we went into a star shape. So I did that with the dogs and I practiced getting them to do some right and left turns and for the uh, for these guys I could stand on the outside edge so I was practicing my start okay standing sideways to my dog and then sending them off and directing them away from me and also I could back off and do it at a distance I then expanded the square, the star shape, so that they had oh, a good five metres in between their hoops. And again, I stayed on the edge and I positioned myself. <laughs> you, got to, you can't see this, but Moochie and Wiki are thinking I'm talking to them, but I'm not. I'm talking to you. So I could stand uh, either the same side of the hoop as my dog or I started slightly afterwards so I could practice either sending my dog and turning or turning my dog as they came towards me and directional just so that I could work out, you know, for handling purposes, you know, what's going to be best and what they also... Um, are going to be familiar with. So we moved from this star and then I kept the two hoops there. I kept it like that and then I put the slalom in over there. So now I've got three sides there and just to uh, give them a little bit more speed um, behind us was actually um, a net a football net goal and I used that as a send around so that they had a bit of speed so for part of their thing going up there and then I had two different ways of doing it I went either there, 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 slalom, there, and then back. Or I went there, 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 out wide, slalom, left turn, and back. I practiced this by standing in several different positions. I was looking at... A good start line and my dog looking at me or look not looking at me sorry looking at the hoop so I first of all practice by standing there 
So I was about six or seven metres away from Mooch and Wiki. And again, I did the two versions of the course. And then I was really bold. I tried to do a start line from here. So I'm standing again with two hoops there. I still want my dog to go forward. So I don't want my dog cutting in on me. Now, there was one blip and Ruchi got it confused initially, but the second time round, he was fine. And then finally, I pushed the boat right out and I stood at the furthest hoop to get Mooch and Wiki to go forward and do the course. What I was doing there is obviously practicing how well my dogs will stay. And if they understand, no matter where I'm standing, not just ahead of them, but to their side, if I say go, they move forward. So the outcomes that I were looking at today for, through just doing this exercise was, will my dog do a stay? Yes. Will my dog go straight forward? Yes, once they got, you know, once I gave them a few remi uh, smaller reminders, um, so I had to build up to that a little bit with a couple of warm-up starts. Um, can they do this exercise from a starting position? Yes. How is my directional training going and my timing for both of them? Not too bad. You always room for improvement. And how I am introducing the slalom style of training um, to let my dog understand they've got to do um, a wide loop. It is not tight. Uh, Wiki, <laughs> Wiki's, uh, Wiki was a love, um, and he was totally different to Moochie. And then finally, I did this on the run. So I sent my dog out wide round something that was here, and then we did the obstacles um, while they were on the run. So I could, again, it was a question of timing and seeing how well they adjust their speed um, to doing the corners. So that basically was our training session for today. We did it for about half an hour. I don't take always the time to set up a big course, but if I've got a few obstacles in the back of my van, I usually have, this is what I do. I do short sequences and possibly something that they can repeat two or three times on the trot to make it a course, or I can look at some of my elements of training and break it down.